My name is Rufus Mwenda. I am a sustainability manager with Absam Bank. Absam Bank is part of um, Absam Group. We have a presence in 12 countries as a group. Absam Bank Kenya has been a signatory to UN Global Combat since October 2019. I am delighted to have been recognized as an SDG pioneer in eco-efficiency. Personally, I found that when we talk about SDG 6, clean water and sanitation, it's something that everyone deals with every day. When it comes to SDG 7, we are talking about clean energy. And therefore, when I looked at the two areas, I realized if we can be able to act on the two, there's an opportunity for the bank in terms of cost reduction and raising our climate ambition. We had two major projects. On energy, we had the LED retrofits, light emitting diodes. This is a technology that is used to make you know, modern lights that consume less power. We implemented that across our entire sites, all our branches and offices. We changed our lights and replaced them with LED lights with automatic controls. We were able to cut our power consumption by around 13% every month. Carbon footprint reduction was another big hit for this. On the SDG 6 on water, we had to change all our bottled dispensers, the conventional ones that are known by everyone and very common, and bring new ones that doesn't have a bottle on it. But someone is still getting their clean drinking water from, from the unit, a new technology. In terms of costs, that 3% reduction in 2021 and in terms of actual savings, as at end of 2021, we were able to document 4.3 million for that year. In 2022, that is set to go high to up twice of 6 million, simply because we are implementing this project in phases. So the third phase was completed in 2021 June. And therefore this year, we are live on all the dispensers that were installed. Carbon emissions in 2021 from this project, over 3,900 tons of CO2. Two main challenges stood out for me under the two projects. Challenge number one was building a case for them. Because you realize when it comes to taking action on sustainability, it's not a gift that you're receiving or giving to someone. It's an investment, sometimes an outright cost, without even a guarantee of a return immediate. How do you argue the case? so that you get the funding from the bank to make this, uh, pro pro to implement this project. Challenge number two was um, the knowledge gap. Sustainability, when it comes to, let me say, the African continent, it's not something that we have a lot of knowledge on. Then the stakeholders I'm dealing with internally, also externally you have to, they are, there's that issue of the knowledge gap. Other challenges had to do with the new technologies. We were a bit cautious, so uh, in terms of technology, will it work? We had to deal with decisions to change and a lot of training to our colleagues to be able to surmount some of these challenges. In working on the eco-efficiency projects within the bank, they have presented me with opportunities to raise awareness among, among my colleagues and other stakeholders, especially internally but also externally and among my network. Uh, one of them has been through um, imparting knowledge, uh, a lot of trainings. For example, when we were running the both race water dispensers to the branches and uh, to our end offices, we had to train them on what we call user acceptance training, uh, take them through what, why are we doing this? and you, we can talk about sustainability as a way of doing business as Absam Bank Kenya. Educating our people was one of the ways I was able to pass on and create awareness among my colleagues and uh, among other stakeholders. As Absam Bank Kenya, we have committed to becoming a net zero company by 2040. And uh, from my experience in that, those two, la two years when we started actually taking action, on global goals, it's an achievable goal. My thoughts are, we have those sites that we own as Absa. We can we invest in solar. Those are some of my plans. We invest in solar so that we are able to generate our own clean energy, which is renewable and very friendly to the environment and makes our sites very green. If we can transform our buildings 
and steer towards greener technologies, greener ways of operating our sites, then we will be well, very well on track to net zero by 2040. For the companies who would want to participate in the 2023 SDG round of pioneers, my advice is go for it. But remember, it's based on what action, what are you doing about sustainability? If you haven't started your sustainability journey, the time is now.